Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my daughter Grace with me and she is here to be my model I guess you could say. We are going to show you how to make these cute bows that she's wearing. Turn your head so they can see. Turn it more. <laughs> there we go. Um, this bow is called a sailor bow. I don't know if you've seen it. It's very popular right now. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how to make this sailor bow. And then I'm also going to show you how to make these cute schoolgirl bows. Anyway, so let's hop right into the tutorial. Okay, so here are some examples of what the bows look like. These ones are the sailor bows. They are all so cute. I love them all. And this little one is the schoolgirl bow. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make each one of these. So let's get started. We'll start with this sailor bows. So what you need is a piece of fabric. I use knit fabric just because I have a ton of knit. But this is 13 inches long by three and a half inches wide. So you're going to take it to your sewing machine, fold it right sides together, and then you're going to sew along there and all the way down and along the bottom. Make sure to leave a little hole in the middle so it will look like this. I should have used a different color fabric so you could see better. But anyway, I sewed right there, kind of at a diagonal, all the way down. And then there's a hole in the middle so that I can flip it. So after you've got it sewn, like I have this one, cut off the sides where there's excess. Okay, now find your hole in the middle and flip it. You're going to want to turn it all inside out. So now it's all flipped inside out. You want to make sure your corners are pressed out. So you have nice sharp corners. Okay, you want to lay it down like that. Okay, the next thing you want to do is get your hot glue gun. And you just want to put a dab of glue to um, glue the opening closed. Okay, now this is how you make the bow. I always start with the seam at the top. And then you're going to fold that over like that. Cross that one over the top. And you're going to flip it over and make sure it's even. Now you're going to kind of fold this like a fan like that. Then get your center piece. This is my center piece. And I forgot to flip it the right way. The center piece can be as long as you want it. I usually only do it about two inches wide. And then you just sew a straight seam down. So I cut it at two inches. I just sewed straight down the side. Now I flipped it inside out. Okay, now fold it like a fan. Place the center piece in the middle and flip it over. So this is the back side that we're looking at right here. Fold that up. You're going to take your hot glue gun again. Put glue right here. And glue it to the back. 
Turn off the excess. And there you have it. Cute little sailor bow. You can make the center smaller or wider. This one, this orange one, it has a little smaller center. But anyway, super cute. These are my favorite on my daughters. I love them. They're simple. You can make them bigger too. Just make the beginning fabric bigger. Anyway, so that's how you make a sailor bow. Really only takes a couple minutes. Now I'll show you how to make the school girl bows. These are very, very easy. All you need is some bias tape. I have all sorts of colors here. I also have a huge roll of it. So these are called um, school girl bows or they, some people call them um, bias tape bows. But anyway, you can buy bias tape in any sizes really. Like this one is rather big and this one is really small. You can see the difference. So I'll show you how to do it out of both of them. Put it on this side. So all you do is tie a bow. Try to make sure that it doesn't fold on itself and it's all nice and pretty. And then you cut the sides. Oh, it's still stuck. Cut the tails at an angle. If you want, you can iron it first. So this one made a bigger bow. But I mean, look how simple that was. That took me like, what, 30 seconds? And if you want, you can glue these tails shut. Or you can glue it right here if you have little tiny babies like I do. She pulls on her headband. And so sometimes she'll pull it undone. But if you just put a dab of glue in here and one in here, when she pulls on it, it won't come undone. But those are super cute. And then you do the same thing. Usually when you buy bias tape, it comes like this. You can see how it's just folded. So you just fold it over and then fold it over itself again like that. This one was already folded like that. But then just tie it in a bow. Then you can add clips or elastic to it so that it will, it could be a headband or just like a clip to clip in your daughter's hair depending on how old your kids are. This one's a little bit harder to maneuver. There we go. Sorry, you can hear my kids in the background. They're downstairs playing. Kind of a perfectionist, so I always have to have everything the same length, but. Anyway, there we go. Very simple, very easy. So yeah, that's how you make the school girl and um, the sailor bows. Very cute, look cute on any age. Sometimes I even put them in my hair if I've got a bun or something. But anyway, yeah. I hope you like it. There's also another way that you can make these with actual fabric. If you'd like me to do another video and show you that, I would love to. Let me know. Anyway. All right, that is it for my tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you try these. If you do, please send me a picture or let me know if you tried it and how it went. This is another version of a schoolgirl bow, but this is out of cotton material. It's not from bias tape. If you would like to see a tutorial on how I make that, please leave a comment below and I would love to do a tutorial for that. Also, I love to make headbands for my little girls. So I have tons of different 
bows that I make all the time and stuff like that. If you'd like to see another tutorial on headbands or bows, please let me know and I would love to do that for you. Anyway, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Also, please leave me a comment. I love to hear from those that have watched my videos. Anyway, I will see you on Thursday for a organization or cleaning video and then on next Tuesday for another DIY. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.